Hello and a huge welcome to this video, I'm Scorpion from How To Do, and in this video we will be making a hyper casual game inside of Unity. In this video we will be replicating Helix Jump inside of Unity and this one will be a really straight to the point tutorial. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here as you can see we have a brand new scene and a brand new project in which I have imported some things. So let me just quickly tell you guys what these are. So first of all we have some materials, we don't have to worry about anything at all because I was experimenting with this and yeah. But you don't have to worry about anything, we will make it again. Uh, then we have Playmaker. If you don't know what Playmaker is, then Playmaker is a really cool asset that helps you make games without writing a single line of code. If you have never heard it or never used it, then this is a really good chance to uh, know about Playmaker. Uh, so yeah, everything we're gonna make is without writing a single line of code and it will be really really simple and really amazing, really awesome, really easy. You can get Playmaker, uh, you can just simply buy it from Asset Store. If you can't buy it, you cannot afford it on anything, you can simply download it for free. The link will be in the description box below. I personally will provide it to you guys. You can simply go ahead and download it for free, but I recommend you guys to buy it because the developers are really awesome and please help them out. So simply download it, drag it inside of Unity and install it, you will be good to go. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments, I will try to help you out. And yeah, and next we have this scene. You don't have to worry about anything. This is just a sample scene that I was trying and seeing what do we have to do. And then lastly, we have this helix part, uh, which basically makes up the game actually. So this will be provided to you. The link will be in the description box below. This is just an FBX file. Uh, you will just find it and you have to just simply drag it inside of unity and bam you will be good to go nothing else so yeah and then we have a brand new scene which is called tutorial you can name it anything at all it does not matter and in the scene we have main camera and a directional light these are the two standard things that come with a brand new scene and yeah that is it let's let's get started so i would like to start off by making the ball mechanics the jumping up and down of the ball so let's just go ahead and real quick create that i'm gonna go ahead and create a plane over here make it bigger and reset the transform first so that it's in the in the in the middle of the scene and then this will be just a platform we're not going to use that later on but does not matter at all then we're going to go ahead and make a sphere shit <laughs> a sphere okay reset the transform on this one too and bring it up just like that all right so here we have the helix ball so if you play the game right now nothing basically will happen the ball will be just over here no, he's not gonna fall or anything if you pause the game over here just like that and if you go to the sphere and go to the add component and add in a rigid body and now if we play the game again you can see he he uh, he falls if you bring it up as you can see he falls because rigid body enables the gravity and the physics and all that right so now it's falling and all that good uh, if we come out of the game view you will see that the component has been disabled or removed because everything that is done in the game mode is not saved at all so we are going to come back set this rigid body again and we will be good to go now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some scripting or doing the do the playmaker thing so that whenever this ball comes down and hit the ground we're gonna go ahead and add a force upwards so that he moves upwards again and then gravity will do its work and it's gonna come down and when it hits the ground again it's gonna go come up and down and this will be a cycle all right so we're gonna go ahead and select it and add in component and say fsm playmaker fsm this is what you need and bam we have fsm over here uh if you if you cannot see this then it means you haven't properly imported playmaker if you are, are having any confusions then let me know in the comments below i will try to help you out uh, but it's not that technical so i hope you're not getting any problems so yeah uh, this is playmaker now whenever we're gonna start the game it's gonna come in this start state and here we're gonna go ahead and test whether or not this guy is colliding with the, the with anything or not all right so we're gonna go ahead and say action browser and in here we're gonna say collision event which is this one over here and user owner means the sphere whenever this guy collides with anything with the colli collision enter and uh, we're gonna have to enter the collision tag so let's just go ahead and assign the collision tag so i'm gonna select the plane and add in any tag you can add a custom tag i'm gonna go ahead and say uh, ground you can call it anything at all and then you have to come back to the plane and say tag to the plane uh, ground all right just like that and then we're gonna say whenever the collider tag hits the collider tag ground we're gonna go ahead and send event say bounce up or jump up. all right so basically what is happening is that whenever we collide with this guy when this guy collides with anything with the tag ground we're gonna go ahead and say new event 
jump up so now it's giving us an error uh, event non setup so we're gonna click this error so it's gonna assign the event over here or you can just simply right click say add transition and say jump up make a new state and clip it over here now if you play the game you will see you will see that oh shit you gotta make it smaller select the sphere first and play the game you will see that whenever it collides with the plane you will see that we will gonna come from state one to state two simple as that but it, it does not goes up because we haven't added any action for it to go up so in the state two when it collides with the ground we're gonna go ahead and say add force simple as that you know add force and the force that we want to add is in the direction of y so we're gonna make it move up so this is the y move it up and down all right so from here so if we're gonna go ahead and say in the y we're gonna add a force now i have experimented a lot and i guess 350 is the uh, not not 359 350 is the best uh force and we're gonna set this force mode to force space to self because we're gonna yeah do that and play the game now you will see that when it bounces it's gonna bounce up back again so as you can see it bounces up again but it only bounces up for uh, for the one for one time because it's in the state two now and it's stuck in the state two so how do we come back to state one well it's really simple you have to select state two and say wait so we're gonna wait for a second for 0.5 seconds i don't know or 0.1 second really really small time and then we're gonna go ahead and say new event say back or you can call these events anything at all does not matters at all so we're gonna add a force and we're gonna wait for 0.1 seconds and then we're gonna come back in state one in the state one we're gonna just constantly check whether or not this guy is colliding with the with the tag ground and if it does we're gonna jump back up so now if you play the game everything should properly work he should continuously bounce as you can see it's now continuously bouncing and if you come over here you can see the the state changes now if you if you think that this bounce is really really low you can go ahead and pause the game select the state to and increase the force you can set this to 450 and play the game again you will see now it bounces up a little bit so yeah it it it, may, it, it depends on you but i think 350 or even 250 is good so i'm gonna set this to 300 just middle 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 thing and as you can see he will bounce this much so yeah i, I think it, it looks good we're gonna come out of the game view and uh, as you can see it's now set back to 300 i'm gonna set oh yeah it does not matter so you can just set this anything at all so basically uh it is working now there will be one problem that i'm gonna just quickly show you guys if i play the game again you will face one problem if i go ahead and select the plane and rotate it just a little bit you will see that he will start to move in that direction and yeah he does that that is absolutely nothing we want so how do we fix that well you have to go to the sphere and go to the rigid body in the constraints you have to freeze the rotation and you also have to freeze the position x and z we don't want it to freeze the uh, position in the y because we want it to move only in y so we're gonna left leave y and everything else will be frozen now if you play the game it should properly work so if i even i rotate it just like that he will still bounce up so yeah as you can see so with that the bouncing part is done now if i go ahead and duplicate the uh, plane and okay now if i go ahead and uh, disable this guy so he's gonna move down and start bouncing on that if i uh, uh, disable that one he's gonna bounce back and there we go so it's everything is properly working actually so pretty awesome right so we're gonna delete this one and also delete the plane because we don't need plane now we're gonna go ahead and start to add the actual level design kind of a thing so we're gonna go ahead and say right click create an object and i'm gonna add in a cylinder and this cylinder that is in the in the center so we're gonna reset the transform so that it's zero 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 and we're gonna go ahead and make it real big so yeah it's really big cylinder just like that and now the ball is hidden in there so and just go ahead and pull it out just like that right now we don't need the ball uh, so we can simply disable it just like that and now we're gonna use the helix bar so we're gonna go ahead and drag out the helix bar just like that and reset or just simply set this to zero 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 and let this to be minus 90 because it is just like that all right so if if i set this to zero it will rotate weirdly with that we not uh, with, that we don't need so we're gonna set this to 90 i'm gonna make it a little bigger 
and maybe less like that a little bigger just like that right so zero 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 scale let's just round it off to six 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 no seven yeah seven looks good and make it thinner so as you can see here we have the helix part now we have to go in the top view press f go in the top view just like that and now uh i'm gonna go ahead and select the cylinder make it a little bigger kind of like that and now we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this guy so duplicate the helix part and select the pivot over here so that it comes over here and we're gonna rotate it just like that so hold control to snap it and duplicate it again oops duplicate snap it duplicate snap it now as you can see we have this whole pizza kind of shape and uh, that is really cool I'm gonna go ahead and make it little little thinner now what I would like to do is I would like to go ahead and select all of these as you can see these are prefabs because they are blue I'm gonna right click and say unpack prefab so they're no longer prefabs and then I'm gonna go ahead and select one of them right click create an empty game object and I'm gonna go ahead and drag it out just like that select all the helix parts and drag them inside of the game object so now this one has the authority over all of them so if I move this game object everything will move that is really cool uh, awesome now we're gonna go ahead and select this thing move it down just like that where is our sphere so now we need a sphere we're gonna go ahead and, and place the sphere somewhere over here oops I have been using blender lately and it has really messed up my navigation in unity it's because it's really opposite of unity how it navigates because in unity when we press the middle mouse this this thing happens and in blender this happens when we yeah so everything is messed up right now <laughs> so anyways so this is our sphere and this is our thing and this is that that okay good now we can go ahead and delete this part and make our level out uh, late uh, but right now it does not matter now if you play the game the ball will not bounce okay <laughs> well it it went right through it because we don't have any colliders on these guys so we're gonna select all of these helix parts and say add component and add a mesh collider all right so and if i say convex you will see that the mesh it, it, the collider wraps around the mesh that is pretty cool uh so now if i play the game you will see that the collider will it will it will not bounce bam as you can see it's not bouncing why the heck is not bouncing because we have not set the tag so we have to set it to tag to ground and when we do that you will see that it will now start to bounce bam so we are now starting to make you know helix <laughs> helix jump good uh, now at this point we can set up the camera a little bit so I'm gonna select the camera move it back a little bit move it up a little bit point it down a little bit everything a little bit <laughs> okay there we go so I guess this will be good for now there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and drag in the camera inside of sphere so that it always follows the sphere so now when it, it bounces it will follow follow the camera the camera will follow this so pretty cool so as we are making this game for Android so we should be able to touch on the screen and then move left and right move our finger left and right and this whole thing should rotate as in helix jump so we're gonna go, go ahead and make that first so of course this guy whole guy rotates uh, whenever we press and move our finger left and right so yeah let's go ahead and make that first so I'm gonna go ahead and select the cylinder go ahead and add a FSM on it also and I'm gonna go ahead and say edit and in here it is really really simple to make it now with playmaker so we're gonna go ahead and say add uh, action browser and we're gonna say mouse look all right mouse look now if I go ahead and play the game right now and select the this game object and drag it inside of the cylinder so that it's now parent of this guy so yeah so now you will see but then whenever we move our mouse it will rotate in a weird way right so it's 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 doing that kind of thing and it's really weird uh we don't want that kind of thing but if i go back to the cylinder go to the edit uh, and we only want it to rotate uh in the x we don't want it to move like this right so we want to move it rotate in the x direction we don't want it to move it in y so we're going to go ahead and set the sensitivity of y to zero and also maximum of the y to zero and set the min uh sorry minimum of uh oh yeah whatever 
uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set this to zero again because we don't want it in the Y and in the X we're gonna go ahead and set the um, decrease the sensitivity to something like 5 all right and yeah this will do everything that you want so now if I just remove one of this guy or just disable it don't delete it and now when I play the game you will see that this guy will rotate so as you can see now if I move the mouse left and right it is rotating the whole cylinder is rotating now if I move the mouse up and down it's not gonna work at all because we have disabled the Y but in the X it is working so yeah but now you will thinking that it, it is working with the mouse it will not work with the Android device but believe me it is I just tested it and it is properly working and uh, so we have now covered also the 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 movement part also so pretty awesome okay so I'm gonna go ahead and select this guy where is it uh, this guy and reappeared now at this point I'm gonna save the tutorial scene and now the only thing that is remaining is to do some level design and then uh, there are some some helix parts that are some specific color on which the ball when hits uh, it 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 dies and level restarts and all that so that kind of thing is remaining but we're gonna fix that uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that uh, but now let's go ahead and do the do the level design so we're gonna go ahead and select this guy game object and we're gonna rename it to set one all right and I'm gonna duplicate this guy to set no it's it should be like it should be like set and this is set underscore one I'll just delete that okay duplicate now it's set one all right so we're gonna go ahead and move the set one down hold control and bring it down just like that now we have to experiment it a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and drag the camera in there make the sphere up and there we go now um, we need to see that how much the ball bounces and according to that I'm gonna go ahead and delete one or two parts from here delete one or two parts from here okay so now as you can see okay now the ball is really really big but anyways it's properly working as you can see the bounce is also good and everything is properly working now he can also jump from here and yeah but I think the ball is little big uh, so it should be little smaller so I'm gonna go ahead and make it little smaller just like that uh, there we go and move this back just like that cool now I'm gonna uh, play the game pause the game and delete these guys again so that we can test out the level and then we can uh, do stuff now so now it can easily fit through and uh, the these these gaps and bam okay so now this is properly working I'm really happy with it now is the level design but before we start making level design we're gonna set up the you know the materials and all that so let's go ahead and do that first uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the materials now you can uh, I'm going to uh, make a new folder for the materials uh, material right click create a material this one will be for the cylinder so I'm gonna just drag it in here you can rename it whatever you want I'm not gonna do that uh, these ones are for the helix so I'm gonna go ahead and search for helix part and select all of these helix parts and drag the new material in there now if I go ahead and set the material to something like I don't know uh, I really don't know uh, what should I do I guess it should it, uh, black should be good yeah so with that done uh, now the ball is remaining so I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this guy drag it in there and I'm gonna set the ball to something like yellowish yellowish color or orangeish yellowish does not actually matters at all but anyways yeah there we have it now uh, as you can see it is a portrait mode which is not good because we wanted to play it on mobile so we're gonna go ahead and set this to portrait just like that if you don't see that over here then you can go ahead and say plus and add the height and width and you know label it up and do that but in my case it's good uh, portrait there's another portrait and there is another portrait is this one yeah so this one so as you can see it is little bigger uh, this, this this thing is little bigger so the camera should move little back so we're gonna do that move the camera a little back and now it's perfect it is perfect but as you can see there is a background skybox that we don't want at all so we can go ahead and select the camera and set this to solid color oops 
solid color and then we can set up the color so I'm gonna just set this to white maybe or uh, yeah yeah anything you can basically do anything at all does not matters at all but yeah this looks good to me I guess so now let's go ahead and set up the levers duplicate this guy and select these two guys and duplicate these guys move them down just like that duplicate all four of them and move them down just like that and you can make it as long as you want as long game as you want and there we go I guess this one will be good enough yeah if it is too long I'm gonna delete the last four uh, but yeah you can go ahead and do anything I'm gonna delete these randomly okay so once you have done that uh, yeah basically you have this thing I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna play it and let's see what happens uh, okay it's, it's scaled up I don't know why but it's scaled up uh, but yeah this is our game we're gonna do that and we're gonna come in come out simple as that and bam our game is properly working now now the only thing that is remaining is the the death parts I don't know what they're called whatever they're called uh, those things are remaining and the last the last thing that whenever we land on the last plate so that we can go to the next level all right so uh, but anyways this is properly working cool uh, so now let's go ahead and make the death plates first I don't know if they're called death plates or anything but uh, so in order to make them I'm gonna go ahead and rightly create a new material for them and let's let's make them okay let's delete this guy duplicate this guy and just make them red right there we go and then you can go ahead and real quick add in the materials to randomly make the death plates and then you're gonna go ahead and select all of these guys the ones that are red so red 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 <coughs> and I'm gonna call this then death and hit enter now if I go ahead and search over here death you can see all of them are over here all of the reds are over here so that is pretty cool this one is also set to death which is not so we're gonna simply set it to red death there we go everything is properly working now oh, we're gonna go ahead and search death again and go ahead and say add tag add tag and add tag death death and select all of the death death and set that with death death and now all of them are called death with the have tag death and death death uh, anyways I'm gonna go to the sphere and go to the FSM in here and we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this guy control C control V and we're gonna say whenever it collides with a game object with tag death we're gonna go ahead and say uh, restart level there we go and I had a transition restart level BAM over here and I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, restart level and there we go simple as that this is why I like playmaker because you just have to just say restart level and it's gonna restart the level for you I'm gonna save the scene for now and I'm gonna go to the file build settings and you're gonna say add open scene and delete that one so uh, if you do if you don't do that and then it will not restart the level anyways save that uh, play the game and let's see if I land on that shit will it restart the level so BAM and as you can see it restarts the level of course we can add a UI to you know restart the level and all that but we're not gonna do that because this is a really small tutorial and I'm gonna set this to free aspect because it's, for some reason it zooms in that I don't like at all so anyways uh, so the death system is working properly uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lastly make uh, that so I'm gonna select this guy delete these sets because it's a little too long select this guy and uh, duplicate this guy rotate it BAM now this one is our last plate uh, so that it tells us that the level has completed I'm gonna move with this a little small uh, little there and I'm gonna go ahead and make another material for this guy select all of these 
dragging the material in there and set the material to something like bluish bluish tint mm, yeah so there we go now we're gonna go ahead and select all of these and add a new tag for them this one will be for uh, level complete is it just that <laughs> because I don't know the spelling of the complete yeah so level complete bam and then we're gonna go back to the sphere and we're gonna go ahead and say copy this collision tag so copy paste and when it collides with game object with level complete we're gonna go ahead and say next uh, level I'm typing without seeing the keyboard that's why this is happening oops uh, add transition level, next level add a new state over here next level bam over there now we're gonna say load level there we go and now of course for the next level we will be needing to make a next level so let's go ahead and save this level rename to lev underscore one level one duplicate this so it makes level two come in level two and duplicate the materials folder come in here and uh, select the helix parts so in the next level of course we want to just change some materials so i'm going to go ahead and say search for helix select all the helix parts and we're going to go ahead and drag in the new material the black one and just set the material to something like i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know white maybe or uh, anything does not actually matters at all and then i'm going to go ahead and search for death yeah death will be red but we can change it to change it to anything at all like blue dark blue and select this guy and select all these last parts and so drag in the blue and for this now we're gonna set this to yellow basically it's up to you you can use some color palettes or something to get better visuals and all that so and then I'm gonna lastly change the camera color you can set this to a purplish anything at all it looks really bad but yeah uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save save it so this is level one this is level two so you can clearly see them difference over here uh, of course you can come in there come in here and delete some more parts add in some more parts and that it's all up to you but uh, for now it will work and I'm gonna go to the sphere again and FSM in here we're gonna go ahead and copy the name of this guy paste the level name in here and close it and I'm gonna go to the file build settings and drag in the level 2 over here also because if it's not over here then it's gonna not gonna load it okay and let's play the game and see if it is everything properly working or not so if I go ahead and do that I'm really oh <laughs> okay there we go whenever it uh, hits the red part it's gonna restart the level and by the way I'm a pro at this and then whenever we come over here it's gonna load the new level BAM now we have a new level and BAM whenever we pre uh, whenever we hit on the blue it's gonna reload that same exact level so uh, there we go our helix jump is properly working now so there's that and of course it does not loads any next level so let's real quick and add a third level duplicate the, this guy uh, save it and just simply come over here and change the I'm gonna just change the color over here set that that go to level 2 save that one go to the sphere say FSM come in here state 3 and load in the level level or LEV underscore 3 so it's gonna load level 3 now save that and play the game see if it loads level 3 or not Oh, okay of course it's not gonna load it because we haven't set it that so go to file build settings drag in the level 3 bam now let's see if it loads level uh, level 3 or not so I'm gonna come in like a pro like a fucking pro bam now it loads level 3 that is pretty awesome now of course you can make multiple levels as as many as you want and you know 
change the the orientation and all that and but yeah this is basically how you make helix jump basic beginners tutorial video and this one will work for android so that's that so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and if you don't want to miss any future videos make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload any video and yeah if you have anything uh any suggestion or anything make sure you comment down below if you have any problem and uh, make sure you comment down below i will try to reach you if i can and yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video